Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Miasmata. We're back here again on the island. I know it's been a few days, sorry about that yet again. And, uh, you know, just because school and stuff, but because school is ending and all my big papers are done, that was the problem, was that I had too many big papers to keep running an extra series on top of my regular one. Uh, which... By the way, if anyone's wondering, this isn't... I'm not, I'm not planning on a regular basis of running four series at the same time. That's too much for me on a regular basis. I'm just doing it because I wanted to finish this game up, and I wanted to finish up uh, the other game, The World Ends With You. So normally I only have two series running, just so everyone is aware. Also adjusting mic. But... Uh, let's see, where were we? we were, I know we were at, yeah, we were at Ruin Site B. Now, according to one of our maps, right around here or so was supposed to be where the bioluminescent algae was, which is something that we needed. So, I think about this direction. Not quite, okay. If we march off in about this direction or so, we should hit it. Now, uh, let's see, another thing I noticed, this game is really dark. I keep forgetting, can I, can I switch that up at all? No brightness settings at all. <laughs> it's a great game, it's no brightness settings. <laughs> okay, well... Apologies for if it gets dark. I can boost the brightness somewhat, but there's only so much I can do. So apologies. But, since we've already headed this way, I'm going to head over to the Bioluminescent Algae, and I'm going to record the whole time. If I have anything interesting to say, I'll come back, but otherwise, I'm just going to cut out the trip because we've kind of already been that way-ish. Also, if we run into any scary beasts that want to eat my face, that too. So, be back in a bit. Oh gosh, not again! Oh, why does this always happen? Ooh, now what are these? I think this is another plant we actually needed. A trumpet mushroom. Okay, I don't know if we actually need it or not, but that's important. We actually need it. Probably. For something. So, we'll hold on to it for now. Uh, okay, well I'm glad I decided not to keep all of that. <laughs> Because I proceeded, as you saw, to fall down one hill, take my fever medicine, fall down another hill, take my other fever medicine, I believe is how it went. And now I have no fever medicine, and I have a fever. So I had to come back here because we'll have to take a nap to get the fever to go away. But before we do, let's investigate to see what this uh, weird mushroom thing does. Okay, so what can it do for us? Ooh, combined with a Type C poison inhibitor, I'll be able to synthesize a brain emphasis drug. Now, wasn't there something that we had that was like poisonous or something? I think if we combine this fungus maybe with the trumpet thingy, possibly. Give me just a moment. So, based on what I've seen, this one says it'll counteract a Type C poison. And this one says it's combined with a Type C poison inhibitor. An in inhibitor, I'm sorry. Which inhibitor would counteract, basically. So it looks like if we take this trumpet mushroom and combine it with the sponge like fungus, that we should be able to make a brain emphasis drug, which would be actually quite awesome. So, let's see. We can get these shelf things all the time. We'll replace that. With the trumpety thing. And, okay, yeah, so I need to take a nap. What we're gonna do, I think, is I, you know, I really need to make some more medicine. That's my problem currently. So, what we're gonna do, yep, I know, I know, you're sick. Calm down, guy. Oh, what happened? What was that? What was that sound? Was that him, like, falling, having problems with, yeah, okay, whatever. Ah, cool, yeah, it actually says. If I take that and put those together, yeah. Uh, anyway. So, um, my current goal, because I think I missed it at some point, you know, falling down the hills and all. Now, I know we're right here. I know we need to get there. The problem is, now this map's actually kind of decent. 
I, I didn't realize it till now because I wasn't really looking at it, but just at a surface level. But uh, topographical maps, I believe, is what they're called. In order to tell you height, they have lines. So you can see them, like, there's a line here, there's a line here. And every line up is like a certain level of elevation. I haven't studied it much, but I know that much from, uh, from looking at some uh, aircraft charts before. And so, for example, you notice here there's a lot of really close lines here. That means there's a really, really steep slope here. But here the lines are a lot shallower, which means the slope isn't nearly as steep over here. Uh, just for a little bit of comparison. Which means to get up to here... Let's see. Yeah. To, to get down... Or no, get to get down to here... So let me make sure. I'll take a look at the map again, but I believe it's right here. We go down the slope, but then to get out, we have to go this way. I believe is how it is. Now, I'm curious about the circle here. That seems like something else we need to investigate. Just saying. Um, let's see. There's a pointy bit here. There's also a bit of a lake here. So let's look for something like that on our map. Let's see. I think... I think that might be the bit of the lake, so it might be about right here or so. So I'm going to go take another trip, and of course, uh, I'll be recording the whole time, but I probably won't show most of it. So, be back in a bit. Wow. Dang it. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm having trouble finding it, and I know it's supposed to be easier to find at night, just due to the fact that it's bioluminescent. Which, of course, is terrible for video quality, so I'm going to cut most of this out unless something interesting happens. I also had to take a nap, by the way, because, uh, because I fell down another hill, which made me have another fever. Um, but, yeah, I've been looking for a while. I cannot find this algae, and... From what I can tell, I, I basically looked it up online, I was having trouble. I should be able to find it inside of swampy water, uh, which is pretty much where we were at, and that circle particularly is where I should find it, that little circle that's on our map. Doesn't mean I'm not scared to death right now, but <laughs> if I could find a stick, we could make a torch. That would be nice. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys if anything interesting happens. Ah, sweet, a stick. You know, one thing that's extra creepy about this game, and I know you guys can't see it, there's no way I could make the brightness high enough for you guys to see it. Not without, like, making the screen go practically white, but the texture pop-ins that happen at night, I know, you know, they're kind of, like, annoying, because it's like, uh, texture pop-ins, but seriously, they're kind of spooky. <laughs> like, I'm just sitting here, you know, minding my own business, playing my spooky game here. Oh, I know where we're at. And all of a sudden, the texture will pop in in the distance, and I think it's, like, something trying to eat me. But it's not, just the texture. <laughs> well, this is something I definitely didn't want to happen. Be stuck in the middle of the... Oh, gosh darn it. Stuck in the middle of the stupid... Wherever the heck we're at without a torch falling down a hill, I probably got a fever again. Dang it, I got a fever again. And I've got no light. Well, this is great. We might as well just start. Wait, what is that? Is something bioluminescent here? That is, that is definitely not bioluminescent. Though, I mean, let me let me grab a rock. Now we should have, well... The only light is that from that stupid thing. But there's definitely some shininess going on here. I mean, it's, it's not just me, right? Definitely some shininess in this water. I don't know, it's like I gotta grab a rock just to see the bioluminescence. Or maybe that's just the moon. That might just be the moon. And I might just be an idiot. So I might be lost might definitely be lost and I might have the only plan of heading this way until we hit something because I am on some sort of established trail 
Although I do have a raging fever, so that's not going to help my travels. Man, I am so lost right now. Wait, wait, this kind of looks familiar. Am I near Outpost Vega? There's some sort of building. I think this might be Outpost Vega. It's got it's got outposty music. Is this the room of the paintings? Oh, sweet! I managed to some. Wow, I managed to somehow stumble my way down to Outpost Vega in the middle of the night. I mean, I'm not complaining. I was wanting to come back here. Never found that bioluminescent algae though. A little unfortunate. Very comforting to know that my sense of direction is unwavering, even through all this time. Uh, so the good thing is, is that our fever's gone now, and that because we're at an actual research facility, we can make ourselves some more basic medicine, some more extra strength medicine. Oh, there's a little, there's a little bush over here to even make even more basic medicine. And, uh, oh, game, could you, could you chill down on the super happy music? I, I get that you're happy, but yeah, okay. So, uh, first things first, let's make some basic medicine. Alright, so we got some basic medicine. That'll be helpful if I fall down a hill again, which I'm sure I will. Now, I believe, if I remember correctly, combining these two makes... Uh, no, no, collect both of them, thank you. Combining these two makes the extra strength medicine. Which is funny because I used it, proceeded to fall down a hill, and its extra strength got me almost nowhere. Okay. So we got some of that, that's good. Now, we should be able to make the brain emphasis drug with these two according to what I read. Uh, no, pick that up. Thank you. So let's just try it out and see what we get. Ah, sweet, this looks promising. Brain emphasis drug, there we go. So, basically, that one medicine that I had that does this, now I have the permanent effect of having this. Hey, wait, it was green. Why'd it turn blue? Right, that's not sanitary. You, you... I don't think you actually injected yourself with anything. <laughs> okay, so I have a normal amount of perception now, because we have the, we have the brain emphasis drug. Um... So, that mental stimulant is almost useless now, from what I can tell. I don't think it's worth anything. Not that it's a, you know, bad thing, mind you. It's just not worth anything. Um, so the next thing... Let's see. Let's go back to status. So, we need to find that bioluminescent algae. And then there was something else part of it. Let's see. Uh, it was something about... Where is it? And we need the Orcade and the Bioluminescent Algae. Now, we know where the Bioluminescent Algae is. I just can't seem to find it. But I'm going to give it another shot, of course. Let's slurp some water while we're here. Oh, oh, we're so thirsty. We just accidentally drank two things of water. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over here to where we had that little plant. Yeah. And grab a few more of these and throw them in, just because they're kind of useful. <laughs> if I find another research outpost, but I can't find any flowers nearby, it'd be kind of useful to be able to make some more... Uh, just some more basic medicine. Because that keeps me from having to sleep the night away every time I fall down a hill. <laughs> so I'll load that up, and then, uh, and then we're going to go out looking again. Once again, I'm not going to bring you guys with me, because uh, obviously I'm really bad at finding things. I have a general idea where to look, it's just the problem is, is when I get to that general area, I can't map very well. Maybe, here, here's an idea, how about this? Normally I go inland, let's try to see if I can stick closer to the coast, if I just walk the coastline, if I can. Because, in theory, we should still be able to reach it that way, unless the elevation's too much. I know where I'm at, calm down, game. Looks like we have... Oh, Avast go away, antivirus program. Has been updated. Looks like we have some low-lying land for pretty much all of this, so we should be able to do that. So that's what I'm going to try. Hopefully that'll get me there a little easier than running through the woods. So I'm going to give that a shot, and I'll see you guys in a bit. 
What the heck is this? What the heck is this? I've never seen this thing. What is it? What is it? A tropical buttercup. Oh, the heck? We're, like, right next to the outpost. Let's go put this thing away and see what it does. Wow. Okay. Didn't expect to run into, like, the brightest flower I've seen so far. And if it's actually any good, I can go and store some more of it. Don't know if it will be or not. It's really dark in here. Okay, so what do we got? Yes, I understand. Ooh. A medical plant during synthesis. Now, did we have a note on that, perhaps? I think a stick is bugging out beneath me, the one that was on my hand. Um, well, so we'll only need one anyway, so let's just store one. We don't have to grab another one. Yeah, I think my stick hand was bugging out. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, on with the journey. Ooh, what are these things? I just came up on land for a little look around and I found some blue mushrooms. Blue capped mushroom. I feel like that might have been a part of something. I just can't remember what right off. What what's happening? Why did I why did I hear footsteps? What was what was making those footsteps I was just hearing game? You can't just like put that away like it's nothing. Dang it. I think it might have been my character, like, derping up and making footsteps or something. Now, I did just think about this, though. Is that because we're right next to this giant ruined wall, I think it can serve as a point to tell me where I'm at. Yes! Okay, cool. So we're actually pretty darn close. So not too far this way is where the bioluminous bioluminescent algae is supposed to be and it's supposed to look like I know I've been down here a few times but maybe I just haven't been looking very well it's supposed to have these tiny little leaf thingies and be growing kind of in the water they're birds I, I can find birds easy enough I think the problem is that they're green, just like the environment. But if I come down here at night, I can't figure out how to get down here because it's so dang dark. And I have confirmed that you can pick these in the day, so it's not a problem of, well, I'm supposed to come back at night. <gasps> wait, wait, I think this is it. Yeah, that, that's a rock. Is it, did I get it? I got the bioluminescent algae. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we're going to take this back up to the camp, hopefully not get attacked by... What was that? Did anyone else just see like a giant flash of red? I'm pretty sure that's a graphical bug, but even still, that's unnerving, to say the least. Anyway, let's just pretend like we didn't see a giant red graphical bug scarring my screen. And let's go up this way. So, we have, we have two plants we need to test. I know we have the bioluminescent algae. I don't know where the orchid is. But we've got... we've. We've got one of those two, which is good. So we've got a third of the... A third of the cure made. Let's see, we'll... Oh, yeah, let's examine them first before we do all this crap. What, what's wrong? Dehydration. Oh, I got loads of water. Let's drink some of this. I don't know, you were thirsty, guy. I thought you were just, you know, having a, a spasm attack. Oh, it kind of sinks in there. You can't really see it. So let's examine it. So if you combine it with a chemical stabilizer plant during synthesis, it will be able to create Agent Y. Cool. Now let's test that blue mushroom. Combined with a type A poison inhibitor plant. Oh, so it's probably, yeah, it's probably poisonous. You could create an endurance emphasis drug, which would be awesome because we could run more, and I think that makes it so we could actually swim like a regular human being and not like, hey, 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 help, I can't swim. That type of thing. Okay. So obviously both of these are kind of important. Now, let me think. So what's our current objective? So we obviously we need to acquire the three things. 
Bioalgae Lab. Oh. So we need a chemical stabilizer, obviously. Of some sort. And I believe the chemical stabilizer they said was an Orcade? Let me check the Agent Y note. The Orcade. Now, where's the Orcade? Let me check to make sure I haven't accidentally picked one up and I'm just not noticing the name. Now, it doesn't look like we've actually seen anything on the Orcade, so we probably have to look some more. Uh, what else do you need for the census emphasis? The giant bloom. Okay, so a few things we're looking for. There's that giant bloom flower. We're looking for, uh, whatever the Orcade is. I still don't know what it is. And... I think that's about it. We, we, did, we did manage to collect the brain emphasis drug. I'm thinking just the way the game has had us go so far. It kind of had to start here and then loop this way. I'm thinking maybe the next thing we should do is go down this way somewhat. That's my only real clue so far. I was hoping we'd find more here, honestly, about where to go next, but I have no idea. So maybe maybe what we'll do... Because, see, I'm, I've been recording for nearly an hour here. And if the episode's short, sorry, I know there was a lot I did off of camera. But, you know, that's that's how it is sometimes. So, I guess, let's, yeah, let's just start filling out this empty area of the island here that we don't know what it is. That'll be our next goal, and we'll continue from there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and next time we will continue forward and hopefully find out, uh, I'm hoping to complete at least one of the anti, or one of the agents, Agent Y, soon. I'm hoping. And maybe for lucky we'll get the muscle emphasis drug, which would allow us to run for longer, hopefully without passing out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!